What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. Please excuse my voice. Um, it's been uh, it's been acting up because of the change in season. So, please bear with me. I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can throughout this video. So. Uh, a little over a month ago, I was requested to review a movie, and of course, to that guy, I apologize. It took me it took me this little over a month to to finally sit down and watch this movie because here's the thing: um, I was mid middle of doing uh, horror month since last month was October, so I wanted to keep the theme of just doing horror horror, horror themed action movies for for the entire month, and then come back to um, just any random thing that I wanted to do. So, and then of course, last week was my two year uh, two year uh, anniversary of this segment so uh uh yeah yeah i never so i decided to put off another week so finally here it is a little gem called bridge of dragon starring dolph mother freaking lundgren oh yes so yeah finally uh, to that guy i apologize here it is so what do i gotta say about this i, I found, found this movie to be very enjoyable um for the most part there were some parts that i felt like hmm Something about this seems vaguely familiar, but overall, I was mm, overly entertained. So, for the for the viewers that have never heard of this movie, um, you are in for a treat because this movie came out in like 1999. Holy shit! What are we? Tw this movie's like 20 years old. Probably never heard of it. You gotta do some digging. You can probably find it on probably on any streaming service that you can probably find or make provide find on a Amazon. But I found it on the Tubi app, which is where most of most of my action Sunday movies I, I have found on there. So or upcoming ones to be so spoilers ahead um so uh, so what the plot of this is that um so Dolph, well they don't give much that's the that's the problem with this plot is they don't tell, tell us much but but i but supposedly uh, in some i uh, some i'm gonna say um oriental state because of, because of these characters names uh somehow uh there's in this uh princess is set to be married to this general and of course uh, supposedly um he holds a secret that he just wants to wants to control the country of country but of course he's the secret is that i don't want to give much of, of it away is that she does not love this guy because it is a forced marriage and of course somehow she runs away um Dolph Lundgren's character is tasked to bring her back but then of course this is where things unravel he, somehow he starts to fall in love with her and he finds out um the truth about what happened to her father the king of the of the, of the land somehow uh it just goes off it just goes from there it's a bit of a i wouldn't say not car crash of a plot but it's like oh shit that talk about talk about power hungry madman and jesus christ um it's just crazy to think about and of course that of course uh not besides Dolph Lundgren you have uh Valerie Chow who on um, for some odd reason is credited as the name Rachel Shane very odd reason and of course Carrie Tagawa aka uh Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat holy shit and we're not this is not the only time these two have worked together on a movie I believe uh these two have also worked on Showdown a Little Tokyo a movie that I've also reviewed on this segment I think literally at the beginning of this year, so go check check that movie, movie review out if you have not done so yet. So yeah, um, just the star power alone, I think, was what drew me to this movie. Um, let's see, the action was top. It was batshit crazy. It was intense. Um, yeah, yeah, I yeah, that's what I really enjoyed. But I also kind of enjoyed the opening old well title sequence where it was kind of, kind of remind me of the flash gordon serials slash star wars if that makes any sense you know with the scrolling text and with the with the overlay over with you know, overlaying narration you got the you got the music it really really sets the tone and then all of a sudden after that happens you're just thrust into the action you're like oh shit things are going off the bodies are getting blown to bits explosions jesus christ holy shit yeah now this is what this is how you kick kick off a movie and yeah Whew. Not much else I can say there. Um, I love the setting. It's like, uh, of course, they, that's the one thing is that they don't specifically say where this kingdom is or what or where where it is. All I know is that it's an Oriental state because of because the because I guess because of the because of the minority characters that you see, but also mixed in with a lot of American or or not non Asian characters that you see. So yeah, yeah, that had me scratching my head. So I'm like, okay, so uh, kind of makes little, little to no sense. But uh, but but then again, uh, we all want to see Dolph Lundgren kick some ass. That's a good thing. At least they had a good enough storyline to go. But the fact that it. it the story felt, I would say, just one-dimensional to me. But then again, again, um, 
no, no action movie is perfect. That it's just there to entertain the hell out of you, and that's what you get with this with this movie. Um, the action, like I said, is top. Uh, the supporting cast, no, no, no one too familiar. That like uh, um, some a guy named Gary Hudson. I've never heard heard him to my knowledge, but uh, just the star power between Lundgren Tagawa and Rachel Shane, or but or Barry Chow. Technically, I have no idea why the name change. It made no well to no sense. So yeah, I guess maybe she realized maybe this movie wasn't wasn't no no good. But then again, there are moments of brilliance or create creativity creativity in this movie. Once again, I apologize for my voice. So I find it a little enjoyable, but then again, at times I feel like mm, if this feels like kind of like a bit of like a knockoff of how it's of a little bit of like missing an action or Rambo, it's really hard to describe. I felt and it's like it's like they like this movie was trying to was struggling with identity, if that made any sense. Like, was it trying to be like Rambo or was it trying to be something more like a like a samurai martial arts film? It it there was a lot of there was a lot of identity crisis going on with this movie. Okay, but overall, still very enjoyable. I give this movie at, I'm gonna give it a reasonable maybe six out of ten. As as much as and that's as reasonable as far as I'm gonna go with it. That action is top. Love, love Dolph Lundgren in this role. Uh, uh, Carrie Tagawa, great, uh, great as the uh, well villain. So, sorry to typecast this guy. Guy uh, beside that, a great strong female lead. Um, now, of course, but of course, like I said, the problems were with identity, bit of pacing issues. I think that for, for my taste, but it's still an enjoyable film. All right, so. Uh, that does for a night. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome, exciting videos.